Pirate Legend, the first true milestone players push for to achieve in Sea of Thieves, a title that's meant to carry weight and prestige, but these days it's considered the bare minimum. So what if I told you there was a new milestone that carries the weight and prestige that Pirate Legend used to hold, an achievement that to date only a mere 0.01% of players have reached? It's literally Pirate Legend 2.0. This is my journey toward the blessing of Athena. In today's very special Tales of Getting Booty, subscribe. The path to Athena's blessing is one of the hardest experiences Sea of Thieves has to offer. I mean, if you still think the Hunter's Call is the hardest grind, then wow do I have some news for you. To reach an allegiance level of 100 in the Guardians of Fortune and receive your blessing from the Pirate Lord, you're going to need to win a minimum of 122 battles in the Hourglass Faction War. But that's assuming you're a god at PvP, which, look, I'm sorry I'm not Mixel, okay? But as I progressed through the ranks, something happened. I was getting better. I mean, it helped that along the way I had the opportunity to play with some incredibly strong players, all of which taught me a lot about naval combat. And, well, maybe I got to teach them a thing or two too. Uh, let me hop over if you want. No, 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 no we're good. I uh, killed one. Oh, now I'm hopping over. <laughs> yeah, drop that anchor and I'm gonna drop the anchor as well. Uh, I wouldn't recommend dropping it. Uh, I guess you could. We got this, we got this. And what I'm gonna do? Is this? Oh, they're about to fucking sink. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm bailing into from the bat. <laughs> from that. You're a legend. What? But the majority of my grind to allegiance level 100 was actually as a solo player, which means. But hey, with every encounter I got a little better, and the fruits of my labor were bearing fruit, as I found myself defeating some incredibly good PvPers. I mean, I saw my first solo victory against a triumphant Sea Dog, a title and cosmetic set reserved for the best of the best arena players before the mode was shut down. I'm honestly so proud of myself, and could feel the improvements to my naval combat from the advice my friends had given me. As I progressed through the ranks though, a situation every solo player dreads was just around the corner. The pre-made alliance. Yeah, it was my turn to experience a cruel fate. Now, I was trying my best to split the two allied sloops apart, and having worked out which ship was my match the hourglass paired me with, I figured it would be easier to deal with them first as they would be solo like me. But the duo sloop was on my tail, and... Yeah, it was that blunder that would cost me dearly. As I returned to my ship, I'd found myself absolutely wedged between a bunch of rocks, with the enemy crew fully on top of me. But once the two crews united their efforts fully, I just wasn't strong enough to take them all down and keep the ship afloat. You guys are cowards, man. Against a solo sloop of two ships, three players, come on. I may have lost to this pre-made alliance today, but the next time I'd encounter one, and I would encounter one, things would be different. But before we get to that story, Chris and I were doing some duo PvP, and we were doing pretty good. Uh, well... Slow us down, and turn left. Oh yep. no, yeah, we need more left, dude. Ah. Hold on, I'll make all that. What is, what is their strategy? I'm going, no, I'm, gonna cut I'm gonna cut all the way left. I'm on that ship. Okay, that anchored. All right, I'm actually pulling the sails up right now so I can just fire on them. Oh, this is gonna be perfect. I just gotta slow down our rotation here. But despite such a messy fight, we had won, with another step taken on the path to level 100. And continuing with the two-win dip strategy I had developed for a more consistent grind, we cashed out when we spotted a Reaper 5 on the server. Now, the thing about gaining allegiance is that you can sell Reaper flags to level up. So, considering this was a free Reaper 5 sitting on the server, we figured we'd sink them for their flag, then raise the hourglass and sell it. And this Reaper had the alliance flag up, which meant we'd be able to act friendly before going for the sink. See if he's never really changes, guys. Yeah, we just we just came. We saw you're an alliance. Oh, you have alliance flag up, so I, I could do with some free gold, you know. And just like that, the alliance was established, and I was on their ship. All we needed to do now was strike at the same time. We can like, sink them. Kill them. Yeah, yeah, we can sink them. Bring the ship. Oh, oh, I'm bringing the ship. I'm turning towards you. Okay, so I'm gonna kill him. Yeah, 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 kill him now. He's dead. Okay, cool. Bring the ship. Sink them. That anchor's done. I'm right here. I'm right here. Okay, I'll drop sail. And I'm gonna cut towards you to the left. And I'm gonna keep shooting while I'm turning. 
Now, I want you all to remember that a grade 5 flag has the same value as a chest of legends, and it also gives a massive boost to allegiance. So if the enemy crew cleaned up and a bit of loot stolen for good measure, we raised the hourglass and sold our reaper flag before diving for our next battle, and we were winning broadsides and using pure naval to sink ships. With every battle, we improved a little more. With each fight, win or lose, something new was learnt, but what does all this skill and leveling equate to when you run into another pre-made alliance? Our final invasion of the night saw us meet with an alliance full of ships. Not only did we have the enemy duo sloop we'd matched with, but also a galleon and another sloop. And so I went over to the galleon to see just exactly what was going on. But as I made my way over there... Oh, they sunk the galleon. The galleon sunk. Well, if we want to just fight the sloop that's sitting here. He has his sails up, I have my sails up, we're in distance. I'm shooting at one of these. Yeah, I'll come. For whatever reason, the galleon had sunk, but we still had two enemy sloops to fight. Look to our right. Yeah, They're I coming see towards us. I got the broadside to us. I went around. Oh, we got two of them. Two of them. We needed to play incredibly cautiously here, but as we circled in on them. Again, shots like within our reach. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Long. D okay, I'm gonna cut. The, uh, the other one's center player. Yeah, yeah, drop cell. Uh, tunfully, tunfully, uh, black. Okay, it looks like we don't have any- Oh, did you hit him? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oof. Oh, wind nosing. I'm turning, I'm turning- Oh, I almost dead, died. It's okay, it's okay. What? Hey, excuse me. We're going on them. Nice, nice, you killed him. I'm gonna start shooting. Hold on, I gotta- There's get one some dead. Cannonballs. Nice, nice, nice. <sighs> Yeah, go for it, man. Go for it. We can Hold on, I gotta turn. I... I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> Cutting. Our steering wheels. Oh, no, I got the bucket. The yeah, steering bucket, wheel's bucket, bucket. I've got a cannonball robot here. <laughs> the other one's. Trying... The other one's helping us. What? Okay, I'm turning back, but I'm gonna start repairing the wheel. Yep. I gotta get more wood. Let's see, they're shooting them. I'm repairing the ship. Got him on the ladder. Oh, you're a legend. Is this the is this is this the alliance takedown? Hell yeah! Nice, the butter. Amazing. Yeah, we we came into this fight so scared. We saw like three ships, and I was like, nah, we're done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we infiltrated the alliance and got them out of, out of this. Oh, that's crazy! You guys are amazing. You guys are absolute legends. So he's not part of it? Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, GG's guys. They've been doing this for a while. We got merged into their server. We'd actually stumbled across an alliance infiltration. I couldn't believe it. These guys were so cool. And with our goodbyes had and a free win given to us for all the trouble we went through, we made our way to the closest outpost to lower the hourglass and sell our flags. But this is Sea of Thieves. You never know what you're going to find in this game. And, well, we had found an Athena Voyager doing a Veil shipwreck right right by the outpost we were cashing out at, and we just couldn't resist stealing the loot. This is a pirate game after all. At the front of the ship there is Athena. Oh, yeah, grab that. Le le legendary goods. Yeah, there's one more. <laughs> but that sloop had noticed that their Athena loot was stolen, and... Hey, more Athena loot. Anyway, I was close to level 100 now, and with the Gifts and Glory double EXP weekend approaching, I decided to push for level 100 in my first ever stream on twitch.tv slash Sinclair. This was it, the final push to level 100, and my community was with me, which meant there was no way in hell I was going to fail. And despite the game falling apart on me now and then, my naval combat was leaps and bounds better than when I first made a video about my solo win streak. I was winning broadsides, hitting chains, and finishing them with death spirals. I didn't even need to board the enemy, and with the two win dips still my main strategy, I cashed out. I was so close to the blessing now, but a few more fights were still in my way. My first fight on the new streak saw me match with another player, but 
There was another ship awaiting us. Whoa, 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 hold the phone. Two boats? Uh-oh. However, this ship just so happened to be on the side of the Guardians too. Okay, I'm pinned the other way around. We had the servant ship pincered in the middle of us, so there really wasn't much he could do about it. Get the spiral. I feel so bad, but at the same time, I'm, I want my curse. However, this victory felt a little hollow, but the captain of the enemy ship would have another chance to redeem themselves because. Oh, oh no. That's the person we just fought, right? Oh, well, they get their rematch. <laughs> yeah, we had been paired with each other again. And this time, we were alone. I'm not, not going to commit to this. His cannon shots were a lot more impactful and accurate now that he only had me to deal with. But I wasn't about to hand out a free win. Yo, he's nosing, though. Maybe we can capitalize. Okay, we have to go for it here. That was way off. He was much better than me at putting on pressure broadside to broadside, but his helming and positioning would cost him the fight. All I needed to do was capitalize on the next time he would nose my broadside. This guy's shots. Dude, they're so good. He's so good. <laughs> He's fully nosing. These waves are... He's dead. I'm not even gonna go over. I should have corrected the steer. Uh. Waves, no. I'm probably gonna have to weary ball this guy, aren't I? We're we're balling. Oh, I'm. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, I think I proved I didn't need a third party ship to win against him. And he was mad. Oh my god. Okay, you're gonna be a little baby about it. Yeah, alright. Absolute child. Oh man, he was so spiteful. That's no GG now. Jeez, what a loser. Throughout the stream, I found myself in the fights of my life. Each battle a scar that paved the way to the blessing of Athena. Until, finally, the final fight to bring me glory. Servants of the Flame. An uncaptained vessel, a servant of the flame. This could be the sweatiest altar count I'd ever encounter. I was shaking, but to my surprise... Oh my god, are they going for a ram? I don't know about that one, guys. That doesn't seem good. You know what? I have a feeling that this will work. No, I'm gonna get... It was just a swabby. My final fight of the night, my final battle to receive the blessing was against a complete newbie. And worse still, I just so happened to be in the perfect position to sail them out of bounds. They're a maiden voyager, this isn't fair.
This is my epic victory. Those of you may remember this YouTube short I made about winning by sailing enemies out of bounds, but having learnt that this would deny the enemy player their loser experience points, well, I tried to stop doing it. So this was a bit of a villain move. Ugh. Guys, I feel bad. I am sorry. Don't hate me. Don't don't think I'm a bad person, please. <laughs> oh, we get it when we uh, we get it when we sell. Well, it certainly wasn't glorious, but this was all I needed to reach Allegiance level 100. All that was left to do is cash out the hourglass. And so, with chat, we sailed to Golden Sands, the outpost I'd saved with my fellow guardians all the way back in the Lost Sands adventure. There wasn't an outpost more fitting than this beautiful town. This is a spoiler warning now, by the way. We're about to receive the blessing of Athena's fortune. Bong, let's go. We're all, we did it. We did it. We did it! Oh my god. Protector of the seas, let's go. Into the legendary hideout I returned, but this isn't exactly where the blessing would take place. It was time to unlock the super legendary hideout. I've done what you asked. I am a pirate legend and a guardian of the sea. Show I'm showing them what I'm made of, let's go! Holy, I've not, I've not seen this. I've been like trying to avoid spoilers so, so much. Yo, this guy, he's dressed up like a scrub. This is where true legends rest after their long road to level 100. This hideout is for pirates that prove that not only can they succeed in PvE by becoming a pirate legend, but also PvP by becoming a protector of the sea. My community and I sat together and watched in awe. The path we walked together was over. Well now, all together at last, and standing here before us, a pirate who knows what it truly means to live freely on these waters. Our Sea of Thieves isn't perfect. Like this ship, Athena's Fortune, she has a long history and carries the scars of great battles. But she has always endured. Even if she needs a bit of work here or there, this place is our home. And so long as valiant souls are willing to make a stand and protect the pirate life, there'll always be a future worth fighting for. A future filled with mystery, discovery, and opportunity. With a courageous spirit and hope in your heart, you've already been on grand adventures that have changed this world forever. Here, surrounded by your fellow pirates, you will always have a place to enjoy true freedom. A refuge to share stories of your daring deeds with crews from different horizons and dream of what tomorrow will bring. This ship is a promise that pirates will always have a canvas upon which to paint their own legends. Yeah! And yeah! <laughs> and Niall to defend that promise. Battling the kinds of monsters that had crushed everything we know and love. Love you, Mary. <laughs> you stood your ground. You never gave up. And you shown us what it means to really belong down here. That's right. And long may it continue. Your deeds have ensured you a place alongside the most legendary pirates to ever sail the Sea of Thieves. Today... We are honored to welcome you into our crew.
Now you're really part of the crew. But there's still much to be done. Set sail, and continue to fight in our name. And remember, wherever you sail, the blessing of Athena's fortune will carry you onward to glory. Dude, that was so cool. Oh my god, that was so cool. Oh my god. <laughs> Equip the curse using the blessing. <laughs> Let's go, we did it. <laughs> oh, we did it. I'm so happy right now, guys. Yo, let's roll a natural 20 as well, let's go. Oh, <laughs> I'd done it. With the help of my friends and through my own sheer will to improve at this pirate game, I'd been gifted the blessing of Athena's fortune. Here I stood, in this legendary hideout reserved only for those who have reached level 100. I was one of them. You're not allowed in, I'm sorry. But, you know, with all my battles won and lost, and experiences I'd learnt from, even with the blessing of Athena's fortune, there was one thing I'd never be able to win against. Hackers. Tell me if you're going, I love you. Thank you for coming. Alright, let's, let's win some fights. Let's actually win some fights. Whoa! Oh my god, another speed hacker. Are you kidding me? I want to thank every one of you for supporting this channel. If you enjoyed my journey, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. I need to reach Yonko's status, and it's on all of you to help me get there, okay? Happy New Year, and here's to another year of pirating adventures. I'll see you in the next one.